holding the seed. All right, first of all, like I was saying, dudes sh or males should never, uh, they should never chase. And any sex that is is not consensual is rape. So how could dudes be the chaser anyway? If dudes were supposed to be this dominant chaser, then the rape would be a natural thing. The woman is, the female is the one that is the receiver. So that's the one that does the moving. She's more 3D and more dense anyway. So if you are holding the seed, you're gonna con you're you're not gonna you're gonna attract women that are on a, a different a totally different vibration. I mean you're gonna get all you're gonna get attract all different levels because as you hold the seed, you see they just come they, it's like they smell it. It's like pheromones. You know, women just start coming out the woodwork. Like especially the more as you go moon cycle to moon cycle, from one moon cycle to the next, like the seed is just basically getting stronger and stronger as you don't release it. It's like the seed just be just building more and more armor and then your body doesn't have to produce the testosterone that it would if you're constantly releasing seed if you're releasing seed then you got to constantly produce testosterone and so much because you know it takes so much iron to produce drops of sperm so you are you know you're you're getting to a state where you're going to be so exhausted that you know you have to eat and you have to do all these other things because your energy is you know, it's, it's being compromised by, it's just like if you grow your hair out. When you grow your hair out, your body no longer needs to allocate energy to growing the hair. Once you're growing your hair, you, you're controlling the seed. Your body doesn't have to use energy for those things and can use energy for higher levels of manifestation. And, and we'll, which would be less. Like a dense manifestation would be like a kid fragmenting into a kid. Less is more. So you're going up to a more refined level of manifestation if you hold the seed and you just start to attract totally different vibrations of women, a whole a totally another wavelength. But that's because your values are changing. So it's just law of attraction taking its place because now you don't want to spill the seed. So now you get so much temptation and temptation is the light or the lie that tells us what not to do, which is the perfect guidance for life. What not to do in this bizarre world. That's all we get, which is everything. So. As you hold the seed and the seed gets stronger and stronger, your, your mind, your body is the same. It's just the same thing because your seed is your future and your past. So you're getting stronger and stronger. The mental and physical, meta and physical, no separating. That's all getting stronger and stronger. And the house itself, you know, it's just stronger. And, and then if you do, you know, decide to have kids from that state of being like you have good seeds, you're going to have good kids. You have a good house, you, you know, you're going you, you're gonna to have good company. It's just, that's just how that goes. So that's if you want to, you know, and I shouldn't say kids because kids is like baby goats. I should say children or ancestors, whatever. But anyway, I'm just saying as far as holding the seed, it, it, it's so against, it's so in the nature of the unnatural to re release the seed like that. And, and, you know, just a lot of it got to do with the pressure from people eating crap. And there's just so much pressure in the blood pooling in the abdomen that the heat is down there. It's just so much heat right there. And, People, you know, they need salt palmetto. They need sarsaparilla. They need those things so that the, the oxygen can flow better to where the heat doesn't just get crazy like that to where, you know, they pop or they have nocturnal emissions or what people call wet dreams, whatever. That's just, um, you know, the, the breathing isn't, isn't correct because it's heat. If you have that heat down there, you need the air to balance it. And then you, you can cycle the air down, heat up, air down, heat up. You know, and you, you can have that constant flow you know whatever people want to call that kundalini or whatever they want to give it a title to separate and to to feel cool but at the end of the day is you know just controlling that universal breath allowing the seed to totally regenerate so that you can totally regenerate because you are your seed you are your ancestors you are the past present and future and, you know, if you throw the seed into the wind, you're just throwing your future and your past into the wind. So you lose yourself because you're losing your past and you're losing your future. So you just become more and more anxious and depressed about the past as you just throw away the seed like that. And then females are just so addicted to it, man. You're just making people addicted to the energy. It's just it's just like giving anybody any drug. You know, you're making somebody so used to being at a state of energy that when you remove it, they're going to drop and they're going to go through withdrawal and, you know, it's going to create an enemy situation because it's just an energy addiction. You know, it's people not 
using their own energy, leaning on other people's energy. And as you use other people's energy, you take on experiences and things that you wouldn't because you're using energy that's not yours. And not to say that it's there's a separation. I'm just saying that, like, as far as your path, which is giving respect and perspective to all other paths, you in, you, you're interfering with that. You're interfering with with that natural process. And as that happens, you know, you get you die, you split and your your the will is going from inside of you to outside of you and around you because you're giving outwardly like that. You're pushing all your internal children, your voices, you're pushing it all outward. So all the will becomes around you and then you get crushed and you get your, you know, life continues and perpetuates itself. And, and, you know, that's just, that's just life. So the seed is, is the seed of creation. It, you know, the, the soul comes from the ether through the male principle into the female principle into the 3D density. So, and then, you know, you're, go, you're going, you're going your, on your way back out too. It's just reverse back through the female principle whether they want to say through the planets, through moon, through Jupiter, however, to get back out, you're going through the male to go back in, to inseminate, out through the female, into the physical world, and then out of the physical world through the female. It's your, you know, that's your, she's the doorway in and out of the physical. She's more physical. The male's more ethere ethereal. So that's the balance of that. That's the illusion, too, of yin and yang. 